Do you like headshots? Or maybe you like my lifeless voice, which is awkwardly satisfying. Either way, you're going to get plenty of what you are here for. I find myself on woods, where on a good day you don't meet anybody, and on a bad day randomly get one tap by a guy you didn't even see. I've heard some shots towards them are from camp, but as I can't spot anyone from distance, I decide to carefully approach, listening for any movement inside. I get interrupted by a scow, and I try to ignore him, but he is very persistent on asking for a head eyes. I keep checking the camp for the person who's just looted it. As it is still early in the raid, I believe they could still be close. And there it is, a sneaky little step on metal. After repositioning to cover and throwing an aid that doesn't deserve a place in this video, I can hear the guy run out of the camp. Clearly, he doesn't want to find out if this time I succeed in blowing myself up. And now the chase is on. I'm not letting him escape. It looks like in the hurry he spilled his pomegranate juice, so I try to follow its trail. Ah, it looks like he wasn't too geared. Still, I'll take this as a warm-up for what's to come later in the raid. Looking for trouble, I come to the sawmill. But as I don't meet anybody except scouts, I move on. This is the part where it gets interesting. I'm looking for a still target to get a quick kill and then focus on the teammate, but no such opportunity arises, so I decide to wait. It sounds like I've killed him. Now, it is crucial for me to reposition quickly and try to find the teammate from a different direction. Here, by the guy I just killed, is exactly where they would expect me to be. As Tarkov is a rather slow game, I probably have around a minute before they start thinking if I have moved to a completely different location. I move closer to the shore, and from here plan to work my way into the mainland. Also, I expect the teammate to have started moving towards their body to look for my whereabouts. The nade only confirms my theory. With exceptional luck, I manage to start a painkiller just when I hear the guy, and then start another one just when I see him.
That last one was a scowl. So, I've seen two and killed two. Should be alright, right? But as an open-minded person, I keep all possibilities, well, open. I'm still trying to process what just happened. A nade on my right, and a suppressed shot further to my left. Now, unless this guy has arms like the Gila and he threw that nade, that must mean I'm stuck between two different players. I start feeling anxious. I hear footsteps to my left. It sounds like two people, but it's hard to tell in the rain. I definitely hear one, but I also thought I heard another one move to my right. At this point, I am trembling from anxiety. I have no idea what is happening around me. I desperately try to look for this guy. See how quickly my arm twitches? That means I'm scared. And I love this game, because it still makes me feel this way, even after thousands of hours. I managed to find and execute him cleanly. Yet, again, he only leads me to another target. What is going on here? Will I solve this mystery? Because I don't want this player to disappear like I've done before, I decide to full on rush his position. Not as clean as the others, but I'll definitely take that kill. After running around the area to ensure there is no third, fourth or fifth party action going on, I start looting. By the way, if you are still here, consider subscribing to my channel or following me on Twitch. It looks like there's a few other PMCs here, and I'm not sure which ones are my kills anymore. At this point, I know there's going to be more loot that I can carry, so I'm just trying to quickly loot up and leave. I find and loot the last one. Very heavy and even more happy, I make my way towards the extraction. I need a break though, not only to regain stamina, but also to appreciate all of that loot. I safely reach the outskirts extraction and hop into the car, which is going to take me to my hideout. From the kill list I see that I didn't manage to find one of my kills. Imagine the surprise when Prapar's dogs bring him back his whole loadout.